Ash, congratulations. Um, you were really threatened there towards the finish. Uh, how good does it feel to be able to keep your nerve and to, to get the victory? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Marie was never going to go away. She's a proven champion and time and time again has proved that she'll fight until the very last point. So I knew that uh, it was important to, in particular, that 4-3 game to try and get out of that service game. And uh, yeah, I gave myself opportunities um, to go 5 live and uh, I think 5-2 as well um, and just couldn't quite execute, but um, was doing all the right things, but very happy to come through in the end. Ash, what do you have to do different this time against Petra? <laughs> uh, win a couple more important points, I suppose. There was, yeah, nothing in it at all in Sydney. So it's it's exciting that I get to have another chance at Petra straight away. Not often does that happen where you get to kind of have a replay against your, the same opponent. So really exciting, but, uh, yeah, really pumped to have another chance here. Ash, some of us were a little bit surprised that the, the match wasn't in prime time tonight. Did you request a, a day match for today? Oh, this, it's beautiful this time, playing at this time of day. Um, obviously, I love it when it's when it's warm and um, when it's bouncy out there. And we were scheduled for this time of day, so it, um, yeah, I mean, it was it was good for both of us. But uh, any time you can play on that court, doesn't matter what time of day, really. Will you request a, a day game for your quarterfinal, or are you just whatever Tennis Australia throws at you? It's just whatever whatever we get. We're we're happy to play whenever. Ash, do you think you would have won a match? I guess under the circumstances of today, say even twelve months ago. I mean, I hadn't, I wasn't in this opportunity, so it's 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 kind of hard to say because I've obviously wasn't, uh, didn't give myself the chance to maybe have this opportunity. But um, you know, we're so excited that we've been able to, uh, I mean, play well throughout the whole summer. Um, in particular, um, give myself a chance here to to go deep, which is one of the ultimate goals for for 2019 was to was to try and really get my teeth stuck into slams and try and get deep into the second week. Ash, you were quite frustrated when Maria took that extended break. What was going through your head at the time? I mean, uh, she's within the rules of the game. You can take a toilet break. You're allowed one toilet break per match. Um, and I think she just went to the locker room as opposed to the one that was close to the court. But um, there's nothing that I can do. I, I just have to wait. And I know that she was playing by the rules um, that, that are in the that are in the rule books. So I mean, it didn't bother me at all. I was able to keep the ball rolling early in the third anyway. Actually, any problems um, physically for you at all today? Uh, no, I felt great. Um, you know, I think it was important for me to, to take the day yesterday to try and recover and get um, in as best shape as possible to make sure that I could perform today. But, um, yeah, I mean, the, the physios have worked their magic and I'm, I'm good to go. You're, you're an icon not only in Australia but among, particularly among the uh, Aboriginal community. What, what, does, what does your win, how you're doing in this tournament, mean to that community? Oh, I think it's... I mean, I don't really think of that. Uh, I mean, I try, I try and be set set a good example and try and be a good role model um, by my actions. And I mean, I know that um, my team are extremely proud of me. Uh, I, I know that um, the Indigenous community would be, um, even on Roger. Uh, it's I mean, it's it's all really nice accolades to get. But when I'm out in the court, I'm just trying to fight as hard as I can for every single point um, and try and play the game in the right spirit and play as hard as I can, um, play fairly and, and give it a crack. Actually, uh, in the match, the first serve percentage, you were slightly behind. But in number of double faults, you were far, far ahead. Were you mindful of these two things uh, coming neck to neck, these two facts or...? Oh, yes and no. It's it's not something that I particularly focus on. Obviously, um, I try and serve as little or as few double faults as possible. It's a it's a free point for my opponent, and I know Maria went through a stage where she gave me a few free points um, consecutively. But uh, look, I try and look after my own service games, and then and then deal with whatever comes from their serve. Ash, if you're happy to go into a little more detail about that final game, just because sitting in the stadium, the atmosphere was absolutely incredible, and when you served what everyone thought was that ace, and then it was the challenge and the double fault and missing other match points, like how hard was it to stay calm in the moment and serve it out, given this was obviously the biggest match of your career, going for first slam, quarterfinal, the opponent at the other end? What was it like? Yeah, the, the atmosphere was unbelievable. It really was. Um, that first match point, my, my ears were ringing. Um, but, yeah, I think I, I missed, what, a couple of serves by a few millimetres and um, went for the wrong serve on a second serve and, on match point, but um, really happy to, to close it out in the end. Um, and, yeah, the, the crowd were unbelievable. I'd, I've never quite played in Rod Labour when it's been that full, I think. Um, and especially against a champion like Maria, who's who's proven it time and time again that um, she can come back from any deficit. Um, she's proven herself on the biggest stage. is is really pleasing. Is it easy to stay calm? Yeah. Oh, look, I felt like it was 
for me, it's obviously you have to stay in the moment as best you can. Um, it's impossible sometimes, but uh, look, I knew that I had to just go up, try and hit my spots on serve, um, and trust the fact that I've done the work. My team and I know know the plans that we wanted to try and play to, and when push comes to shove, try and try and execute that as best I can. You mentioned the Brisbane Heat after the match. Do you think you'd be in this position if you didn't step away from tennis? Uh, no, no, absolutely not. I think. Um, yeah, I needed to take that time away, and I feel like I've come back a, um, you know, a better person on and off the court, a better tennis player. Um, and yeah, I mean, for, for me, having that 80 months off was vital. Ash, obviously, a lot of attention on you. That's only going to grow over the next couple of days. How do you kind of deal with that, and do you try and kind of stay away from it, or what do you do over the next kind of day or so? I think for, for me, nothing really changes. Um, we, we go through the exact same processes um, and the same routines that I would go through, whether it's a first round or a quarter final. I mean, it's, it's exciting. There's, there's no doubt about that. Um, but I, I try not to look too much into it. I get to embrace and enjoy the fact that I'm playing in Australia and I get to extend my summer uh, a little bit longer and, and play, in the best, uh, play in front of the best crowds in the world um, and really try and enjoy it. But um, for me, my processes and routines don't change. Uh, I get to go out there and prepare for another match. Um, you know, and if I can, I can execute and do the right things, it's, it's a bonus. It's very much always uh, one match at a time, I know, Ash, but have you looked forward at all and seen how the draw is falling out for you in, in terms of your half and also to no, who's still in, who's out? No, I haven't. Any other questions? Yeah. Ash, you're the first lady in 10 years to make the quarterfinals here at Melbourne Park um, on the, in Australia. Can you just explain how you feel about that and if it's something that you ever imagine happening? Yeah, it's just so exciting. Uh, I mean, this is these are the moments we train and we practice and we prepare for. And um, you know, sitting down with my team late last year, it was one of the goals that we set out that we wanted to go deep into slams. Um, and I felt like that was the next step for me. And um, it's amazing that it's happened in Australia um, and is happening in Australia. And I've given myself the opportunity and the chance to to play in front of the best crowd in the world um, on one of the best courts in the world in in my home slam. Um, there's there's absolutely nothing better. Ash, do you uh, have you played different more, differently than any of the other girls? Most of the other girls, uh, have you ever watched yourself play? Do you do you, um, on on television recording and say wow to some of the shots? And also, can you uh, say how how you how you've improved as a player from say 18 months ago? Yeah, I think every single player is different. Um, yes, there are some similarities with with game styles and. Um, and things like that, but I think every single player is unique, and that's certainly what what I love about the sport is that I can go out there and play an Ash Barty style of tennis, um, and I know that no one else has that, and I get to enjoy it. And um, I don't really ever watch myself or watch too many of my matches over. It's I've I've been there and felt it firsthand, and um, some of my best memories are, are from um, shots that I've played or moments on the court. But um, it's not really something that I go back and look at. It's it's more enjoying the moment, um, and then um, yeah, I mean, getting to getting to try and develop and create um, a fun kind of free game style that I like to play. Ash, you just mentioned the Ash Barty style of tennis. How would you describe the Ash Barty style of tennis? Oh, I think I love to play with freedom and fun, and and try and create as much variety as possible. Um, obviously, my game is built around my serve and forehand and bringing in variety with the slice but um, there are no secrets in tennis I think um, every day I try and challenge myself to um, to add another string to my bow in a sense and, and try and um, become the complete player I think that's that's my biggest goal.